Okay, here we are. So most recently we got the flight spell, which was last thing locking us out of stuff. Um, we also got the thunder sword. Well, we had the thunder sword, but the uh, the orb for the thunder sword, which we needed to break those metal walls. So there's a few things that we can do now in the pyramid. Got two sacred shields. Let's sell one of those. I don't know if they have a selling shop here. Maybe they do. They don't. They don't. Yeah, so we could also sell that um, other sacred shield. I don't think we need any of that stuff anymore because the shield that we have should cover all those things. <clears throat> The Psycho Shield covers Poison, Stone, and Paralysis. Everything except Curse. So the Sacred Shield does Paralysis, I think. So. And then whoop, the other shield we had there was the Mirror Shield, I think, which is Stone. it. Let's see what else we have here. We have lots of magic rings and a fruit of repun, which is for curse, which is, I think, the one thing we can't fix with recover. So we do need, the, need those repuns. No repun intended. I forgot which oh, refresh. That's good. Oh, and which boots? No, we don't want the leather boots. We do want the leather boots because we're going to the desert. <clears throat> Oops. Now there was a whirlpool, a cave that was covered by whirlpools, which we can enter, but I want to finish up this area first. Good morning, everybody. We say it's to the right to do this stuff. Left was just the that was the exit from Mount uh, Mount Hydra. So for this, first thing I want to do, oh, let's get lost. First thing I want to do is test out a couple of islands up here that we were not able to get to. It's going to be across here. So this island. We couldn't get to before, so let's just do that. Oh my gosh, I kind of remember the buttons here. This island. All right. Nothing on this island, but this is the other island, and it has battle armor. So that was the one armor that we oh, had not seen. Let's just give this a check. It's higher up than the ceramic suit. Let me load up the instruction manual too. I think that was the last of the armors that we can get. There's the Psycho Armor. <clears throat> so Ceramic Suit has defense against heat and cold. Battle Armor guards against poisonous attacks. I think I like that better. And it's probably also more defense. Then we'll eventually get the Psycho Armor, which restores your physical strength automatically. Oh gosh, I can't wait for that. Because I get hit a lot. Alright, so. So actually, we didn't even need flight for any of this stuff. But we did need that sword. We did need that thunder sword to do this. Time to map some stuff. Oh, power ring. It's a shield ring. Oh, power ring. Doubles the power of a sword. Hey-oh. 
I mean, the Iron Necklace also, that doubles your, uh, your body defense, which might actually be more useful to us than the Power Ring, to be honest. Alright, well, let's, let's keep it on that until we, uh, until we actually start fighting things. We'll see. Alright, wait, so that's all that's in there? Is there another... Isn't there another wall that I could break up top here, or am I confusing this with a different dungeon? Let's find out. I thought we had another... Yeah, no, that wasn't this dungeon. There's nothing else up here. Okay. So we have done all the loose ends in this dungeon. Yeah, I think we weren't... I was exploring this earlier, and I think we didn't need to explore this until after you get that sword. Okay, so everything is done there. Shield ring. No, not shield ring. Power ring. I guess we can just leave here normally. Now we're going to explore that stuff, or that place in the desert that was covered by whirlpools. it though I think it was above I think it was north of here or not maybe it was down here gotta love that shield I didn't just make this thing up, did I? I just saw a mirage. Saw a mirage in the desert. It's the oasis. And there's that. I didn't just make that up. <clears throat> oh, I should also point out, let's see if it still works here. There we go. I have a poll going for what game we want to play after Crystalis. And I've got it limited to three options there, and you can type those things in the chat. For subs, it's a sub vote. Hopefully this works. I've never used Moobot for polls before, so let's... Let's see. Let's play. I wish Stom would come back. Let me know if you see any feedback showing that it actually worked. I think the... Oh, there we go. Ba-boom. Cool. <clears throat> I 
it's a tough choice. Those are three awesome games. <laughs> All right. Desert Town of Sahara. Hey, it's a town I haven't been to. through a cave in the east. So I guess they weren't even attending me for me to go to that pyramid until I had flight. <clears throat> yeah, let's sell the ceramic suit. I think we're done with that. <clears throat> As if I need money anymore, but... That one is... Mm. Why are you telling me that? Okay. Inn is expensive here. I'm too cheap to stay at the inn here. No, I probably will stay at the inn here. We gotta figure out what to do next, though. Pyramid entrance there. Some whirlpool there. Nothing. And we got a big pyramid there. <clears throat> Is that the cave we came in? Pyramid is nothing. Alright, just those two things, I think. It's <clears throat> so one more thing. I want to go there. I'm gonna go in the other entrance. I'm not gonna be the I'm not gonna do the normie thing here. Let's do the back entrance. Sun. Oh, look at that. Oh boy. Uh oh. Okay, we're in a dungeon.
Let me get some fresh paper. this stuff. That's some new music, that's cool. Wear off. <laughs> uh, does this wear off? I hope it does. to a new screen. Alright, no, I'm just gonna explore. I'm gonna explore. I can explore in this form. It'll just be a little slower. Oh my god. take a lot of hits too. I guess I could switch to the the double weapon power. Maybe that's what I should be using. I don't know. Just a straight up left right turn. Yeah, okay. Thank you. 
Oh gosh. <laughs> All right. Check out what's on the sides this time. <clears throat> Alright, let's see what's on this way. in here. Alright, that's enough of that. Thanks for the sub limit break. Alright, so there's nothing of use here. This is of no use to me. Let's see if up is also another nothing. Eek! Eek! I know I could probably just continue from the checkpoint. I just don't know what other stuff... Like, what other effect... What other state effect? <clears throat> now I gotta keep doing this bow thing, but that's all right. <clears throat> Thank you. 
I have a feeling it's going to be the same pattern. We're going to go down and there'll be more garbage down in the lower floor here. But maybe not. Maybe there's something useful here. No, it's just more garbage. Garbage baloney. Okay. We tried left last time. Yeah, let's see if we can pursue this here. It's me every time. Gets me every time. All right. <clears throat> Thank <laughs> you. 
Where you go? Not the Dragon fight you expected, right? I'm actually damaging him. I mean, it's making that squishy sound. Might get too sloppy here. It'd be nice if he could flash like a TMNT boss to show me that he's lower in health. Hope he's not just like recharging.
I'll just keep going until I run out of magic. Ah, I that was too low. Cutting that one close. Ugh. Get out of it. Oh, get out of it. Ah. Be terrible that time.
Really not a need to make the fight this long. Like I got the I got the picture. Figured out what to do. It's just I think the game got its point across. Ah. Alright, I'm not I'm running out of magic here. We gotta I don't wanna do this again, so. Cool. fun over there. I don't know. I don't think so. Was it a bug that he was alive for so long? Like, I, I can't tell if there was just some problem where I wasn't damaging him. Okay. This is just a really tanky boss. Okay. I just needed to hit him a lot. Try this on him. Oh, wait. Oh, I don't have the magic to do it. Thank you. 
All right, well, let's try going the other way. We don't have to do that fight yet. Let's see what else is in here. The Opel statue, okay. Start again. Let's just start again. I still have all my stuff. I don't have the Opal statue. Oh, okay. So this really is a save. So it doesn't roll over any changes to items that I did. That was neat. Fire the charge shot and had a messed up sprite. This awful fight again. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, I think we're probably not making any headway with this either, huh? Because this is still too long for the fight to go on. Even if it only even if you could only damage him with the fire or with the um the lightning. People are useless. Power ring. The other swords didn't damage this enemy. I am using the storm bracelet for whatever difference that makes. For whatever difference that makes. Anyway, if this doesn't work, I'll just go to the other pyramid and see what we can do in there. Yeah, that's, I was thinking that the other thing that I didn't do... I haven't used change magic on everybody, or to do all the different people. I've never been... I forget one of these I didn't... I was him, but not him. I used all the other people. Yeah, I get it. I know. I can talk to the rabbit who's looking for Stom, but... That was the only person I haven't changed into. Yeah, so let's try that. Wait. That is a loose end, and then the going to that other pyramid is the other loose end. Dio's pendant. Okay. 
QQ indeed. We didn't really deceive the rabbit. All we did was just... It's kind of cruel. It's not like... Being Stom is... The reason the rabbit gave us the pendant. All we did was just make the rabbit feel really sad. <laughs> Made a rabbit sad today. could have just said, hey, I have some bad news about your friend, but instead we decided to just impersonate the rabbit's friend for a little bit. I hit that one, the one fireball. <laughs> How did I miss me? How did that thing miss me? Oh my gosh. Alright, and maybe this is not the right thing to do next, but we'll try this for a while. And see if this boss eventually dies. Most bosses in this game have died pretty quick. Pay attention. Pay attention to your health there. 
<laughs> so Dio's Pendant restores MP automatically while you wear it, but it doesn't restore MP while you're using magic in a battle. That's what it says. In the instructions. We've got everything else from the... While you're using magic in a battle, well, sure. Yeah, well, either way, that's... It's about restoring magic, not necessarily about fighting that boss. So maybe I need to whack that boss some more, but... My guess is we got enough hits on that thing. The Bow of Truth. Use it to destroy the Emperor of Dragonia. So maybe we don't even need to be here yet. Maybe I can put Dio's Pendant on and I don't know if that matters. There's no indication that it actually makes a difference. Actually, you don't want to do this right now. I'm going to do the other one.
that's where we came in from. It's not where we came in from. Oh, I marked the wrong thing. Oops. We came in from the top left. Alright, but let's finish mapping out this guy first here. is not it's not just a grid Upstairs. Well, I mean, I don't know, it's a north staircase. I don't know if that's up or down. Same thing. Same thing. I hope these aren't all going to separate areas. I hope this is all just going to another map with a bunch of doors that are positioned you know, exactly in the same spot as these. Because I don't want to have to deal with chasing down, like, 12 new, new parts of the dungeon. In this one, we can see what's on the other side of the asymmetry here. Oh, wait, what? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's one more over here. This is the one. Yeah, so I figured there'd be something there. Because there was a there was actually a blank wall on the other side of that. So that's probably important. Let's see what's going on in the row below this. This we've already seen, that's just a regular door. That's got a down staircase, probably. Yep. just a corner. Okay, cool. So it is symmetric. I guess let's just take one of these and see what it leads us to. Is this the same thing? Is this the same floor? No, I mean, I've figure that this is, this looks like the same floor, so I guess that's good. So if I can go up one, two, and then we get the corner. So I must have come in there. Right. So that's A and A. This is where I came in the whole thing. So let's try this one here. That one takes me to... Let me go up. One, and it's that. Okay, 
so that takes me to this. So it looks like they're in line with each other. And if I go down... Hopefully, actually, I'm making the assumption that it's the same thing if you go both directions, that it's not like a different thing in the other direction. But let's try this. Let's see if this takes me over to the middle on the left side. So if I go down one, that's where that was, and then down, and this is the elbow. Yeah. See? See? So then that top right one is not... that's matched with the door that I came in, so that's probably going to be something different. But let's, so let's do that one last, though. Let's knock some of these other possibilities out. So if I go down here, does it take me to the very top? Yes, it does. And we'll save the special ones here, just so I want to tie this. I think this will be a loose end that we tie up. And it takes us to this one, which is this should be an elbow over here. Yes, okay, so these are done. So now there's four more doors that I don't uh, know. Ah, this one at the top right is probably going to take me to the other, to the right branch of that T in the initial entrance. That's what I, my guess is. Because I know that we, it's not going to take us over to the other side. Yeah, so it's the right branch of the T where we came in. Okay, okay. Preserving the symmetry. Okay, so there's only three doors here. There's the top and the bottom middle door. And I presume the top and the bottom middle door go to each other. So let's just eliminate that. So this goes to the bottom middle. So no, it doesn't. Magic ring. Ah, and that's the bottom middle. Okay. BF and F. Okay. So it's really just that one door in the middle that goes to anything. This is the only door we haven't done. How's everyone doing? In case you didn't see, I have a poll going for subscribers to see what I play next. That is assuming I ever beat Crystalis. I'm not actually sure that's going to happen. I might just get stumped. We might run into a, a Balrog situation again where it's just impossible to win the game. Man, Simon's Quest getting a lot of votes. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. Actually, I'm not surprised. I think all three of these games are real solid games. So, Simon's Quest, Simon's Quest is probably the most painful game, I think, of these three to play. All three of those I'm going to be completely blind on because it's been since I was a little kid, since I played any of those games, really. Um... Although Simon's Quest I never beat as a child, I never did that, never beat that. But Battle of Olympus and Star Tropics I have. Star Tropics I think would be the easiest of those. Not that it's an easy game, but I mean, it's not going to be a lot of like, just being completely lost all the time. And I think Simon's Quest is going to be the most being completely lost all the time, which is fine. I think Olympus is going to be kind of in the middle, because I know there's a lot of like, unintuitive stuff that you have to do. But it's going to be maybe the middle. I don't know. I, I want to play all of them, so... Or any of them. We'll see. On YouTube? Um, I'll just... I mean, I'll be... I'll upload my playthroughs to YouTube. From Twitch. Alright, let's do this now. Oh my god. At least I've had some practice with this, uh, this boss fight. 
total expert. Oh my god, that's insane! That's so stupid! That is so stupid! <laughs> it's like, it took like <laughs> five seconds. <laughs> okay, alright. There's Azteca. So people were saying as like other townspeople I talked to were saying bad things and good things about Azteca, I think. So I don't know that I think we've gotten mixed messages about them. The bow of truth. Yeah, I mean, I made them the decision to go to the tiny little pyramid in the back rather than just going to the big, like, enormous pyramid that they put right in front of you when you walk into that area. I mean, clearly the game wanted me to do this first, but I don't know. I just, just don't want to do it. I'm not going to do what the game tells me. The difference this time is it's a different boss fight. This is, I, fought, I fought him in the big pyramid instead of the little pyramid. So I think this is the way I was supposed to do supposed to go. No, it's not a sequence break. You can literally get to the other to the to the other pyramid. It's just of the two ways the game presents you with, I went the like the less obvious way. All right, so let's go down here. Wait, were we just here? This is the place we just were? Did it just warp me back to the start? It just warp me back to the start of the dungeon? Should have just been an empty room rather than a boss fight that you can go in and win. Er, and never win. I mean, I think... I think the most fair thing would have just been to have have it make that dinging sound when you attack it, even with the Thunder Sword, it should have just made the ding sound so that you knew that you weren't harming it. I think that would have been a fair way to handle it. Or just have room be empty, right? Just have no boss fight there, but... Right, but it says I was harming it. Oh, but I was harming it. I just needed to do it, like, forever. And it was, or it was just healing itself, or something. Okay. Here we are. I think I can do it like this. Now we don't know that this is the thing to do next either. My health is regenerating. That's cool. We don't know that this is the thing to do next either. But I am going to go here, because I can. Oh, come on.
Oh, gosh. Could just use the flight spell. I don't know why I don't just do that. I mean, I can refill my magic in so many ways. It's not really that important that I conserve magic here. I mean, I don't mind buying more magic rings. It's okay. Oh, Bow of Truth does not... Wait, shouldn't my MP be charging again? Equip the wrong thing. <laughs> I equipped the wrong thing. <laughs> yeah. And now we get a snack. Easy enough. Mm. Oh, man. I'm tired today. I like the faces on those flaming jugs. What do you think's in those flaming jugs? Flames. It's filled with flame juice. <laughs> it's a traditional clay oven. They're making some delicious foods in there. I think we should stick around even after our magic points are refilled. And just so we can eat whatever they're cooking. It smells delicious. Fanto from SMB2. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. Yep. There's cookies in there. Hopefully there's cookies in there. Pretty burnt cookies. This compelling speedrun. Of course, we're going to get here and not be able to kill the boss, and then I'm just going to have to teleport out of here or die or something like that. And this is all for nothing, but... Oh, I gotta stop messing around. <laughs> Maybe I should stop messing around. Totally worth it. <clears throat> the Bow of Truth. That sounds like something that would kill Dragon. I can't get over the name either. The Dragon fight. Let's see if I can get Spike Suit. Blue Suit? That'd be Blue Suit. Alright, here we go. Power Ring. Power Ring. Bow of Truth! Time for the moment of truth. All Dracons in chronological order. The arrow pierces the heart of the Emperor and his true image is revealed. Whoa, oh my gosh. Whoa. I don't know, I 
guess I'm good with this. Do I just need a ton of Fruit of Repuns to get out of this, though? That's gonna be a problem. Actually, use my dodging skills. I don't get any credit for that one. That's cool. I'm staying over here. Oh, no, no, no. Go away from me. I don't like you. Get out of here. in the streams. the level 3 magic. I might as well, right? And do more damage. Or maybe it will. Maybe it won't. I survived that. Yeah, it looked like that was a blind light. Right, when you stand directly in front of him, it looks like that's a nice blind spot because his la his lasers just won't hit you there. Oh, so Azteca was both good and evil. Dragon Red is negative ideas.
Oh boy, we're going to the tower. Whoops. That is just overboard, buddy. That's just overboard. Okay. We don't need this. Power ring. No, let's do the protection. Alright, here we go. So I assume those doors just don't work till I kill everything. That's what I'm going with. It's different robots now though. The robots are changing. Okay. A team of scientists who created the tower. Huh. 
truth comes out. Wow. The revelations here. Kill all the robots, I can't let this one get away. Why is there one down here now? Uh oh. There's more than just the one that came downstairs. Oh, I guess my, my armor heals on its own. I shouldn't heal myself all the way up. The thing just despawn itself? What happened there? An android. Azteca was an android. Sorry, I paged through that a little fast. Oh, my God. 
Oh, hey. The tower's attack will begin. Okay. Now I have crystals. Oh, cool. It's a sword. That's the thing that the game's named after. Must destroy Dinah. Should we do that? We don't want to do that, right? I don't want to get... I don't want to, like, clip into there. Let's try to do this right. I have a feeling I'd just get stuck if I clipped into there. What would happen if I clipped into there? Would that be a sequence break, or would I... It would just be nothing. Nothing there. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't think so, because I don't know what else you're going to do besides fight the boss up here, right? I just don't want to be stuck someplace that I can't load a, a save out of. Maybe I should shield ray? Tohu game. Alright. Uh-oh. When do we start the boss fight? And Chrysalis is thrust into the reactor. Oh no, self-destruct has been initiated. I knew we were playing Super Metroid. No, I'm fine. The danger is now over. It would be nice, she says. Not it will be nice. Time to leave. I'm with you. Secret of Mana, yep, that was that's that was one of my favorite Super Nintendo games. I've got that cartridge too, I might do that sometime, but <sighs> the people's despair has ended. Just quoting movies? Is that what we're doing? Remember, subs can vote for what game to play next. Soon to be relevant. Soon to be a relevant issue. This is cool. This is better than a lot of NES endings. It's just a regular credit roll, but like... The way they've got it set up with the... With those two, like, bands. The image and the text. Giant fortress crashing to the ground. Yeah, that's probably not so good for the environment either. Look, they're chasing a bunny. That place looks cool. I want to go there. There's palm trees, pyramids, and the night sky. Guardian Legend's awesome. I love that game. this picture because I took a screenshot of it and made it into the background for the Chrysalis Tournament. <laughs> the end. I love it. It's a little bit Blaster Mastery, right? It's kind of similar to the, the last screen of Blaster Master. You're like looking out over a valley 
and a little bit like Ninja Gaiden, but that's not quite, not quite. But yeah, Blaster Master is awesome. The tower just harmlessly disappears. The game's puzzles, I did actually. I thought that um, there's only a few of them that I thought were kind of obtuse, but once you figured out that the moment that any, once you get the change spell, the moment that anyone mentions some other, one of the characters you can change into, that's what you're supposed to do. And then the other thing was finding Kenshu when he was uh, changing into different forms. And the only real clue we had for that was that when you talk to the one soldier, he's like, man, that Kenshu is so awesome. And I guess that, you know, with a little bit of reasoning, you could figure out that, okay, that's probably the person being Kenshu. Um, but I think at that point in time, someone in the game had told me that you need to find, you need to go find Kenshu who's hiding or something, something along those lines. And... But it wasn't like immediately, it wasn't the, the most immediate thing, the most recent thing at the point in the game where I was. So I wasn't, it wasn't really on top of mind. So that took a long time. That was probably the longest of the puzzles to figure out. I missed the warrior ring. Yeah, okay. So there were a couple things. We can go back in and find some of these things. Um, just for completeness sake. Because I'm, I'm curious what other things that I missed, but... I'm just going to look through the manual here. Warrior ring. Yeah, that's the only thing that we don't have from the manual. Shoots a level one wave continuously. That would have been super helpful fighting those friggin' robots in the, the tower, right? Oh, check to NPC and Goa will change it. Check on. Oh, okay. And the battle armor? Um, no, I got the battle armor. I found the battle armor this session. I was wearing the battle armor up until I got the psycho armor. Yeah, I had it. It's just the warrior ring that I missed. Yeah, I found it um, earlier this session. I got it. Oh, this is where we're at. This is where we continue from. Battle armor. Maybe no loading back to a point. Because they're not going to... Like, I had to go through a trigger to get here. They're not going to let me teleport back. Because then I couldn't get back here again. What was the other... Say, this load... This should do it, right? No. No. The other save is in the same place. For some reason. We need to have that warrior ring. We need it. We need it. So it looks like... at the poll for next game it looks like um, Simon's quest is in first place Star Tropics in second Battle of Olympus in third how do you wild warp I don't know what this is oh use the second controller I don't have one I do have one I've got like 
Got a bunch of controllers. So I just, just have to go digging for it. Press and controller two. Oh, okay. Eh. Sure. Let me get a controller. Why not? Controller one and press A and controller two. Oh. Whoa. Neat. Chrysalis. Yeah, we could run around doing chrysalis stuff. Oh, see, this is again, he mentioned Akana, and I just didn't do anything with that. And that's a thing that I should have known that whenever a character is mentioned that you can change into, change into that character. I imagine in the randomizer you can play as all those characters. Or that get too confusing when you actually need to use the change magic. <laughs> oh, how about we put it on? Let's actually put it on. Oh my gosh, this makes the game more fun. Why couldn't I just do this all along? This is way more fun. I know it kind of breaks all the, the sequencing of the game here, but... Or the, um... It breaks all the strategy of the fighting, rather, but... I just want to run out with this all the time. Man, I could have been having this before Mount Hydra. I could have had this... Well, no. When did we get change? Yeah, I think we got change. We had change magic when we even got here in the first place, so I could have done this before Mount... Mount... Not Mount Hydra. Yeah, Mount Hydra. Oh, I couldn't have done it before Mount Hydra. Oh, okay. But I could have done it before the pyramids. Look, we can do some, like, Contra S-Gun control here. We can change the shape of the, of the beam a little bit. That's neat. Wait, why am I charging up? Okay, anyway, this was great. I'm curious how you get back to that... that temple now. I guess you just go back to that room and walk up the top and it takes you back in. I kind of want to see... Nah, I don't really want to go through all that. Yeah, that's what this game's all about, just finding characters who have died and impersonating them and... then, I don't know, 
whatever you do with identity theft in this game. Identity theft is not a joke. Do not steal people's identities and walk around in the desert. Identity borrowing. All right. Well, I'm. I don't think I'm going to start the next game today, but um, I will play some, probably some Game Boy games now for a bit. So I need just a few minutes to set that up. Meanwhile, voting is still open for what the next game is. Um, I don't know how to make the bot say what the current vote count is. I, I have to think you have to wait till someone actually votes. So the next time someone, next time one of the subscribers votes, it should say what the current vote total is. But I do know that Simon's Quest is winning. Star Tropics is in second. There we go. And Olympus is in third. 60%, 30%, 10%. Wow, Simon's Quest really was the runaway hit here. I wasn't expecting that, honestly. Neat. All right, let me go switch up my capture.
All right. out of the way here. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why this one's not working here. somewhere yes there we go that'd be okay cool I already played that one in stream though I'm gonna do maybe I'll play that more later but I'm gonna do a different game right now so many tiny cartridges Oh man, there's some good games in here. We did follow the, um, not follow, yeah, follow the Foot Clan. We did that in an earlier stream. But I might play that again if there's time. Let's see. For now, what I want to play, though, is the game with the cartridge with an X through it. That's the game I want to play. could certainly clean this thing. That might help. I have a Super Game Boy 2. I just can't find it. And it works a little bit better than the Super Game Boy 1. Plus, if you ever wanted to if you want to ever want to speed run anything, you kind of have a Super Game Boy 2. I also have a Game Boy Player, but I don't, um, and a GameCube, but I don't have, um, and I have a, a, a SNES controller connector that I can, so I can plug a SNES controller into the GameCube. But what I don't have is the disc for the Game Boy Player, and I know that that's the kind of thing where you can just find that and burn it onto a, onto a whatever it is, a CD or DVD, burn it onto a disc. I think you can like use a full size disc, right? You don't need to use small discs in the GameCube. So I might, if I get too annoyed with the Game Boy Player, or with the uh, Super Game Boy, I might use my Game Boy Player. My goodness. Do we need to do some cleaning? Get the alcohol swab out? No, we don't. The game loves me. Come on. Yeah, I, I know that, right, that's what I remember. When I when I bought the Game Boy Player, I remember reading that there's a homebrew version of it that lets you do some... that lets you uh, get the low latency, right? That was... Yeah, I originally bought it because I was thinking I, I wanted to speedrun something with it, like, years ago. And I remember people saying, yeah, get the Game Boy Player and do the... Um, hey, there we go! And get the a special you know, homebrew version of it. All right, well, maybe someone will walk me through that at some point or, you know, show me where to look for that. For Speedrunner, it's worth it. I mean, the Super Game Boy 2 should still be timing accurate, but is that going to be, like, more latency? Is this, I mean, wouldn't a, wouldn't a Super Game Boy 2 have, or would that be 
more latency than a Game Boy Player with the... Uh, Yeah, because that's what I have, a SGB2. So I don't need to use the GameCube to do that. I just can't find it is the problem. I have so many boxes full of, like, SGL stuff. And my stuff got mixed into that. There we go. So let's see what's going on here. Why doesn't this want to show? Just took a minute. All right, there we go. Everything look good, hopefully. Let's just see what the deinterlacing is. Good, cool. Okay, so if I wanted to run and run something, I would get just as good latency on a Super Game Boy 2 as I would on a Game Boy Player with the low latency mod, huh? If that's the case, I'll probably just do that, because I like my... I mean, I already have my Super Nintendo out on the desk. I may as well just do that, rather than having to also hook up the GameCube. Yeah, it was a Japanese-only release. Um, Denzel Glovington bought it for me. From Japan. so fun. Wow, the, the physics in it, it just feels so different from the other Mario games. Even Mario 1 with its, like, you know, momentum physics, it just feels different than that. the alcohol swab. We're getting the alcohol swab.
Sega machine. I have a Genesis. I don't have a flash cart for Genesis though. I have flash carts for NES, NES, and Game Boy. But I only have like two Genesis games. I don't even have a Sonic game. I've got like... I know uh, Shakan is one of them. Check-in is one of the games I have. I don't remember what the other one was. It wasn't mine though. I never had a... Um, I mean, it wasn't originally mine. I never had a uh, Sega system growing up. I had a friend uh, down the street who had a Master System and I played a bunch of games on that. Including... Um, Fantasy Star, which I think I would love to revisit that if I can, you know, play Master System games. I forget if the Genesis, does that let you play Master System games on it? I can't remember. It was one of the consoles I thought let you put the old, like, card-style cartridges in, the, in a slot in the front. So I'd love to play it, Fantasy Star again if I, if I can remember, if I can remember which one it was. Remember which Fantasy Star games. No, it doesn't. Oh, okay, so I would need an actual Master System. Oh, that's right. It was on the Master System. That's the one that had a, uh, a card slot on the front. Because it took two different kinds of cartridges, right? It took like regular, like Master System, like the boxy cartridges, and it also took these like flat cards, unless that wasn't another cartridge. The Genesis has an adapter for Master System games. Yes, I think I've seen that. It's like this little black, like, oval-shaped thing which sticks on the top. Yeah, it had cartridges and cards. That's what I was thinking of. It wasn't the Genesis. I can't remember which Fantasy Star, though, I played for the Master System. I don't know what they made for what consoles. But I kind of want to play that. Um, other than that, I won't really have a huge... Like, a, that was a game that I borrowed for, like, a few weeks one summer from a friend. But other than that, I never really played much Sega stuff growing up. I mean, we played the Sonic games with, at sleepovers and stuff, but... So it looks like Fantasy Star 1 was the Master System, so that's probably what I played. Uh, Fantasy Star 2 was Sega Genesis. 3 was Genesis... Slash Mega Drive. Four was also Genesis Mega Drive. Okay, so it's number one. So yeah, that might that's a game I might do sometime. We'll see. I'll have to buy that that adapter, that master system adapter for my Genesis. Okay, so far so good. That cat does not like the smell of alcohol because I think it uh, reminds him of his flea medicine. <laughs> I'm getting a dirty look. <laughs> getting a dirty look from the cat. All right, here we go.
Alright. This is fun. I haven't uh, played this game in a long time. Yeah, I'm going to be probably heading out a little bit too. I won't play through... Oh my gosh, I won't play through this whole game right now. But I will, maybe next time I do a stream, I'll play through this whole thing. So I've been... I've been watching... No, it wasn't this game. I've been watching the sequel to this game. Some speedruns of Six Golden Coins. Which I don't have. I don't have that cart. I know somewhere I've got a Game Boy Flash cart, so I could play it, but... I think it's with my Super Game Boy 2, which means I don't know where it is yet. So for now, I'm just going to play the first one. Mind the gap. Yeah, this the controls are a little bit... They're a little bit janky compared to... Compared to some of the later games. Honestly, like, I played so much Super Mario World that that's how I feel like Mario should behave. That even when I play, like, Mario 1 or Mario 2, I'm, like, unhappy with how unresponsive the character is. Because that was that's the cool thing about Super Mario World is that Mario just controls so well. Like, like he's so, like, light and, and, like, agile. You can just change directions whenever you want. He's, it's really really easy to control, and in all the other Mario games, you just feel so much clunkier. But, in this game, I like the theming, I like the the Egyptian theme that they use here. I like the different physics on the fireball, the way it, it bounces, it rebounds like a rubber ball. <laughs> all right well that's about all i got for now i will come back and play this whole thing it just took me so i did not i didn't have that much time and it just took me forever to get the game to work but but now at least my uh everything's cleaned out so next time i stream i can play this so th thanks so much everyone for for playing Crystalis, or playing Crystalis for watching me play Crystalis. and remember we do have that poll going i'll keep that poll up like right up until I start the next game. Last chance to get a vote in. Actually, you can vote at any point while the stream's offline, but subs can vote. Typing Simon, Olympus, or Star Tropics. Looks like Simon's Quest is really killing it. It's in first place by a lot. Which I guess I should have expected, because that's going to be the most unforgiving of those three games. Of course, that's what people are going to pick. But that's good. I'm looking forward to it. I've been watching the Simon's Quest randomizer, and having forgotten completely what you're supposed to do in the vanilla game, it's just really intriguing to me, and now I'm going to want to play it. So that should be fun. Alright then. See y'all later.